Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And today I am here to review one of the newest films to hit theaters. It is the 2016 fantasy film directed by Tim Burton. Ladies and gentlemen, my review of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, coming up now. Edwin's grandfather passes away in a very strange situation. He is told by his grandfather to visit an island that he told him about through bedtime stories when he was little. He told Jake of a house for children who were very different, run by an enchanting woman named, of course, Miss Peregrine. While Jake had no longer believed the stories, he and his father traveled to the island at Wales to see if anything truly exists. Jake soon finds a few of the kids and finds himself back in 1943 at the school. Jake soon discovers he's the only one who can help his newfound friends from evil creatures on their tail. So what did I think of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children? I thought it's an odd but intriguing fantasy film. It's based on the best-selling novel of the same name. It's got a little bit of Harry Potter mixed in with some X-Men ideas in it, but the film feels different enough to easily stand on its own. I enjoyed the clever characters we are introduced to, with the kids having special abilities from everything from super strength, the ability to grow super-sized plants, the projector dreams, and of course those creepy twins whose peculiarness we uncover later on. Spoiler, it's pretty cool. <laughs> The story can get pretty complex during the setup as we try to take in everything being quickly thrown at us, dealing with time. Once we understand the rules of the world though, it's simple enough to follow. The film can get dark at times, most notably the villains feasting on eyeballs and the monsters named Hollows, which could easily frighten younger audience members. There are a few fun action scenes throughout, including an ending with the kids and skeletons against the Hollows. Tim Burton directs the film, and while I haven't been a huge fan of his recent projects, minus Big Eyes, I like that one, I felt this is definitely a step back in the right direction for him. The cast deliver fine performances, including Eva Green as Miss Alma LaFay Peregrine, the extraordinary headmistress of the children's home with the ability to transform into a falcon and also manipulate time, Aza Butterfield as Jake Portman, the 16-year-old who visits the home and is amazed to find out his grandfather's stories were true and ends up having to defend the kids, Chris O'Dode as Franklin, Jake's father who doesn't believe his father's stories, Terrence Stamp as Abraham, Jake's grandfather who once lived at the home for peculiar children back in the old days, Ella Purnell, mm, I'm a new fan of hers, <laughs> as Emma Bloom, a teenager who can control air but must wear lead boots or she'll float away, Judy Dench as Miss Esmeralda Avocet, the headmistress of her own house who comes to Miss Perrin Green for help, and Samuel L. Jackson, who seems to be having a blast with his role as Mr. Baron, the leader of the Rites, which are undead human creatures who hunt and kill peculiars so they can disguise themselves. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a sometimes bizarre but enjoyable ride. I'm going to give it the rating of... Do it. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with my review of Deepwater Horizon as well as Masterminds this weekend. Uh, so make sure you tune back in for those. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter or the Instagram at West Aylist. Until next time, Troop out.